No Man's Sky is a game that's generated an unbelievable amount of hype over the past few years, and not without good reason. This is definitely one of the more ambitious projects we've ever seen in gaming, which of course has left everyone thinking, will the game meet expectations? Today I'm here to pretty much answer exactly this question, but before I do, there's a minor point I want to make about No Man's Sky in general. No Man's Sky is a game that's not entirely, but the very least primarily geared towards providing an exploration-driven experience. What this means is whether or not it meets expectations really depends on the individual. Someone who enjoys exploration is going to view this game much differently from someone who wants an exciting and action-packed, story-driven game. So please keep this in mind as you watch this video and as the game releases, because ultimately the way any two people are going to view the game is inherently going to be very different. Nonetheless, the rest of this video is going to be divided into three main parts. In part one, I'll be discussing three major concerns I have about No Man's Sky. In part two, I'll discuss three things I'm looking forward to in the game. And then finally, at the very end, I'll give my final verdict. Let's start off here with my concerns for No Man's Sky. My first concern for No Man's Sky is fixation on the numbers. I've heard tons of ridiculous numbers thrown out about this game, namely that there are over 18 quintillion planets in the universe, and it would take you around 585 billion years to see all of them if you visited one every second. The problem with this is that 18 quintillion is billions and perhaps even trillions of times more planets than are ever going to be visited by players in the game. So why even throw this number out there in the first place? Well, part of it is to generate a universe that is essentially infinite, but another part of it is to generate hype for this game. 18 quintillion is a number that is far beyond human comprehension, and when you start putting out numbers like that, people are naturally overwhelmed by them and start to develop expectations that are in line with these ridiculous numbers. Namely, they develop expectations that are realistically more than you can expect from any video game. The bottom line is that 18 quintillion is just a number, and if you have 18 quintillion planets that are poorly made, then it doesn't matter how many there are, because the game is going to be unenjoyable regardless. Don't take this as me saying that the planets are going to be poorly made, because I really don't think this is going to be the case, but what I am trying to say is that numbers in themselves can only mean so much. So what this concern boils down to is an overfixation on the numbers is generating unreal expectations that quite frankly No Man's Sky cannot possibly live up to, which is going to disappoint a lot of people. My second concern, and arguably the biggest one, is this game is made by 15 people. I have nothing but the utmost respect for Hello Games, and what they've done is quite frankly amazing, but no matter how you look at it, 15 people is a very small number to be working on a game that is this big. For example, Assassin's Creed games have development teams of over 1,000 people, and even Bethesda Game Studios is considered incredibly small at just over 100 employees. But 15 employees is a completely different level of small, and I'm just afraid that with all the pressure on them for this game, the team might not have been able to completely deliver with No Man's Sky. Finally, No Man's Sky has a reputation system or a wanted level as it's called in the game, which is a bit of a cause for concern. Reputation systems are inherently very volatile in that they can either make a game much more enjoyable or severely limit the number of ways you can play the game. You should definitely be punished for certain actions, and the game should vary depending on how you do things, but Hello Games also needs to strike a good balance between freedom and enforcing their reputation system. This is something that's very difficult to do, and I'm concerned as to whether they've really nailed it down. With these concerns behind us, let's talk about some of the good things that No Man's Sky has shown us thus far. One thing a lot of people are concerned about is the so-called randomly generated universe, but this concern is entirely misplaced because the universe is not randomly generated, but rather procedurally generated. In other words, the galaxy is generated in accordance with a set of rules and axioms, which means that everything in this world is going to fit together well. You're not going to see things like a random palm tree in the middle of a cold planet, or an arctic creature in a tropical forest. The universe of No Man's Sky is not going to be a bunch of randomly generated crap, but rather a very cohesive setting that fits well together. Second, this game is set in a classical sci-fi world. A place of vibrant and beautiful scenery that centers on exploration in contrast to the dark and rather grim atmosphere of science fiction today. 
This game is essentially classical science fiction brought to life in today's world and with today's technology which is going to result in a very unique experience. The creators of No Man's Sky have thought a lot about it and are taking a real chance with this type of setting, but I think it's something that's really going to pay off. Lastly, and most importantly, No Man's Sky isn't pretending to be something it's not. Specifically, it's not trying to give us a half-assed story and is staying true to its four pillars of exploration, survival, combat, and trading. There is a main objective to the game and there's a lot of lore behind the galaxy, but that's different from trying to tell a story in a game that quite frankly is not story driven in any sense of the word. I've seen many games in the past try to be something that they're not, but No Man's Sky is not going that route. It's a game that stays true to its own nature and embraces its own identity. My overall verdict is that there's a lot of potential for good and a lot of potential for bad in No Man's Sky. I do think the game is going to be very enjoyable and will definitely be worth picking up, but there are two concerns from those I mentioned earlier that I just can't shake. Those concerns being an overfixation on the numbers and the fact that it's a game made by only 15 people. Therefore, my final verdict is yes, I do think No Man's Sky will fall slightly short of expectations, if anything more because of unreal expectations than it actually being a bad game. At the same time, the purpose of this video was more to present a balanced view of the concerns and the positives of this game in order to aid those of you watching this video in deciding for yourselves whether or not this game lives up to the hype. So I love nothing more than to hear your own thoughts on No Man's Sky down below in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next No Man's Sky video.